Hey students and families, thanks for tuning back in. In today's lesson, we will be writing sentences that help us to compare and contrast. We'll be doing this together, so please get out a piece of blank white paper, a pencil with an eraser, and get ready to participate in our lesson. you guys so in today's video lesson we are going to be using our comparing and contrasting list from the Jungle Book movies um, of 1967 and 2016 um, but we're going to take a different approach today and we're actually going to write full sentences so if you can stick around with me as we write full sentences for each point we came up with so Right here, we have Mowgli tries living with humans after meeting a girl. So in order to put this into a full sentence, we want to think of this as if the person who's reading what we're writing has never, ever um, heard our conversation about our co comparing and contrasting yet. So um, think about how you would explain this to them. You want them to know that in 1967, there is some differences than there were in the 2016 version of the movie. Okay, so we're going to create um, full sentences. I'm just creating a little totted line for us right here so we can just keep all of our um, bullet points separated from where our full sentences are going to go. Okay, so down here I'm going to bring our bullet point so we can use it as our full sentence. Okay, and we're going to be using full sentences down here. Okay. All right, and now what we want to do is change the, 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 the way this sounds, basically. So if we were to change the way it sounds, um, currently it says, Mowgli tries living with humans after meeting girl. So as we can see, this is a very incomplete sentence. Why don't we say this instead? In the 1967 version, of the Jungle Book movie, Mowgli does not go back to the jungle after the main problem in the story is solved. Instead, Mowgli goes to a village with humans after meeting a girl. Okay, as we can see here, not only did we write one full sentence, but we wrote two full sentences. Sometimes you need to write a little bit more in order to get your point across. So. We know that in the 1967 movie, um, we know what we're talking about when we say Mowgli tries living with humans after meeting a girl. And the reason why we know what we're talking about is because we've watched a video that has the actual picture and footage of these two movies. So because of that, this makes sense to us. But if somebody was reading this in an actual writing that we wrote, we would want them to understand us. So this is what our full sentence is going to say. In the 1967 version of the Jungle Book movie, Mowgli does not go back to the jungle after the main problem in the story is solved. Instead, Mowgli goes to a village with humans after meeting a girl. So this gives them full context of what year this happened in um, and what movie it was. Um, they know now that there are there is not only one version because we're being specific about the version here. And yeah, so there's this right here. We're going to try to convert these sentences in the both column to full sentences as well. So let's go ahead and we'll just start with the first one. Okay, the first one says, Shere Khan is the main antagonist. Okay, so 
this is giving us information based off of what we know, but let's again pretend that the reader has no idea. So we need to say Shere Khan, comma, and we need to introduce Shere Khan in a short way. Shere Khan, a tiger. We're going to say a vengeful tiger because he wants revenge. Shere Khan, a vengeful tiger in the story. The Jungle Book. And we said that he is, is the main antagonist. And we can be more specific and we can say that he is the, um, the enemy in the story. Shere Khan, a vengeful tiger in the story, The Jungle Book, is the main antagonist, in parentheses, enemy, in both movies from 1967 and from 2016. So here's our full sentence for this one. Shere Khan, a vengeful tiger in the story The Jungle Book, is the main antagonist or enemy in both movies from 1967 and from 2016. I think that sounds pretty good. Okay, so we are going to move on to the second point right here. So I'm just copying and pasting so that I have something to work with. Okay. The next point that we are going to talk about is both endings are happy resolutions. So we will begin our sentence again, pretending that the reader has absolutely no idea what we're talking about. In both versions of the Jungle Book, okay, we can say, both, both movies, and happy resolutions. Okay, in both versions of the Jungle Book, both movies end with happy resolutions. Good job. And now we are going to write this last one in the both column in a full sentence. Mowgli escapes Shere Khan by going to a human village. Okay. Looks like I'm going to need a little bit more room here. Oops, sorry. Okay. In both versions of the Jungle Book, so we already put that, we're going to say Mowgli escapes Shere Khan by going to a human village. So we're going to give them context by reminding them of the vengeful tiger. We'll say in order to escape Shere Khan, the vengeful tiger. Mowgli goes to a human village in both movies. All right. And then after this, the last ones we want to be writing in our full sentences are the um, points that happened in 2016 movies only. So I'm going to bring this down here. And we're going to write some full sentences here now. So the first one we have is Mowgli's father scars Shere Khan in a fight before Mowgli's father dies. So we're going to say in the 2016 version of the Jungle Book, And let's be specific, we can say 
the movie shows a scene where Mowgli's father scars Shere Khan before Mowgli's father dies. And we said Mowgli's father already, so let's go back and edit this. The movie shows a scene where Mowgli's father scars Shere Khan, we can say before he dies. Okay. Okay, now I can put my apostrophe. So, so we're going to leave this as our full sentence right here. In the 2016 version of The Jungle Book, the movie shows a scene where Mowgli's father scars Shere Khan before he dies. Okay, and then the last point right here that we have is Mowgli returns to the jungle after the main problem is solved. And um, we're going to say after the main problem, problem in the story is solved. We can even say resolved. Mowgli returns to the jungle to live with the animals who raised him. And that's the end of our lesson on writing full sentences when comparing and contrasting um, two things. Thank you for watching. Hey, thank you for tuning in to today's comparing and contrasting video lesson. Tomorrow there will be an assessment, so I hope that you remember these different concepts and different tools that we have learned. And if you need any refreshers, please refer back to this video or the other videos that we have uh, gone over throughout the week. So please look back at those if you need to. Um, comparing and contrasting while using sentences is a really valuable tool that you can actually use throughout the rest of the seasons of your life. So it's a really great tool to have in your back pocket. And if you need any help before tomorrow's assessment, feel free to reach out because I will be available for you. All right, have a wonderful day.